In life, everyone kind of really has their own passion, something that they love to do. It's what makes each of us different, unique, in their own little way. We all got here through our own journey and our own passions, really. But in these next five minutes, you'll learn my passion. <laughs> What's going on guys? It's your boy Mushin bringing you guys another video. I hope you guys enjoyed that little trailer that I did for the channel. I am coming back to dirt biking. I have gave up kind of video gaming. I mean, I still do it a lot, but if you guys want to see some gaming content, stay tuned to my Twitch channel. Twitch is down in the description below. That's where I'll probably be doing all my gaming. YouTube might strictly go into dirt biking just because of the growth that I'm getting, how much fun it is. And again, a lot of people in my comments are just telling me, yo, Motion, please come back to dirt biking. Please come back. We, we miss these informational videos, and I do miss doing it. It's riding season again. It was kind of rough because the winter came, so I couldn't really ride that much working and stuff like that. So now I can actually ride on weekends without having to worry about the weather or anything like that. But I am so excited to ride. Can't wait. We have to touch up some things on my bikes. There's the, uh, the RFZ is Donovan's bike. I'm going to try to buy it off of him. If not, then I don't know what he's going to do to fix it the Apollo 007 Josue that's my roommate he already gave me the bike he is moving out soon so that bike is mine I can do whatever I want with it I'm probably gonna take the engine off and put it on like something I'm just gonna do whatever I can probably just take it apart just so I can learn what the engines about the bike is already destroyed um, it was actually having problems starting so maybe we can work something in the comments below where I get some of your guys' help to try to fix that bike then we have the peace moto bike that bike is it's perfect right now so far it's running good it's the only bike that's actually running uh, I do need to change the oil and fix the exhaust because that kind of fell off other than that the bike is in good condition it is a newer bike the newest bike that we have so that might be one of the reasons and then the my baby the Tao Tao 140 cc that bike I need to change the brake the clutch I'm gonna maybe get a new I probably won't get a new spark plug but I'm gonna change the oil on all the bikes and then I also need a new rear brake and then the handlebars one of the screws came out so I'm gonna have to get thread lock thread lock all the bolts on it tighten it down and stuff like that but with that being said guys let's go check out the bikes so here's the RFZ um, we have the 007 this bike is completely shut out this bike is basically not runnable. Um, we're probably gonna use it for parts and stuff like that. Maybe we can try to see if we can get it to run. That might be a project that we can do. The RFZ as well has a lot of problems with it, I believe. So like I was saying, this snapped or something like that. The clutch is, or the throttle line is completely jacked up. Um, the carburetor inside of it keeps idling really, really high. It just revs extremely high to the point where it's not rideable. So we do have some things we have to do to the RFZ. Um, besides that, we have my KTM right here, the RC390. This is my motorcycle, my baby. Uh, I do have to take it in for maintenance. I'm going to do that eventually. We'll get videos of that. We have my Peace Moto over here, which I am still 
loving this bike it still runs really good this is probably the only bike right now that is running perfectly fine and then we have the Tao Tao 140 my baby um, this one I'm gonna try to see if I can get running basically as you guys can see the brake and the clutch lines probably hard to see on camera right now because it's dark are snapped I'm gonna need new ones of those this came out completely so I'm gonna have to use some thread lock to put that on new rear brakes i need pads because it keeps squeaking and then i think there was something else on it i gotta double check and again i'm changing the oil on all these but yeah you guys that's basically what we're going to be doing to these bikes um for now but the riding season is coming so stay tuned i hope to see you guys soon peace